2025 is the year of vapor, then we'll see conferences talking about view vapor. And that, that's going to be an interesting thing, right? As you sort of have people talking, yeah, like, what is it? What are the patterns for using it? When do you want to use it? When do you want to use Svelte and view in the same app using view vapor? Um, Wait, what? And I'm sure you know about this. So basically, there's been a lot of work on it. It's happening behind the scenes in a number of different places. I think things are going to move forward. And I think probably even quite quickly, we're going to start to see stuff working or accessible and it's going to start out as probably not going to work in a bigger project uh, it's going to need some compilation uh, it's going to work probably in vpress out of the box to start with people are going to play around with it but for example Catapon, who um, is the driving force behind view i to n has been creating like a svelte vapor because so the concept of course for vapor is can we compile away the view runtime or have a very minimal runtime so that basically we don't need a virtual DOM for these components. We can directly manipulate it. Well, that's very similar to Svelte. And actually, there's nothing view specific about it at that point to the compile output. So normally, you wouldn't want to have more than one UI library in your project because it's extra code. But if you're compiling down to effectively imperative functions that just directly manipulate the DOM, it doesn't matter. If I have two components, it's going to be the size of those two components. It doesn't matter what framework they're written in. And so Kazapan is exploring like, well, mm. Svelte. Can we write in Svelte and compile it to Vue Vapor? So why not? So I think Vue Vapor is going to potentially be, if, if people build on top of it um, in the same kind of way that we're starting to see uh, happening behind the scenes, Vue Vapor might end up being better than Astro, you know, better than what Astro promised. Mm. Uh, actually something that allows interop at a very granular level in existing frameworks. So that could be pretty cool.